Plenty of girls play with Barbie dolls as kids, but for 14-year-old Don Medeiros, it led her on a different path. When I was little, I used to take my Barbie dolls apart, and they're the little cars that they drive in, and my mom would get mad at me because she'd think I was destroying them. Medeiros took that love of tinkering and joined the robotics club at the Coral Academy of Science, a Reno Charter School, where this spring she and nine classmates will travel to Las Vegas to participate in the first robotics competition. I like electronics and building stuff, so it's just been a lot of fun learning how things work and how they fit together. Teams of students from around the world have six weeks to design and build a robot that can kick a ball into a goal, climb over obstacles, hang from a tower, and cooperate with other robots on an obstacle course. The Reno team's robot is a cluster of electronic components seated on a rectangular frame with four wheels. It has a lever underneath that swings out to kick the soccer ball. It's all controlled wirelessly with a joystick. Here's ninth grader Zach Minaha. I'd say it's simple, but uh, it can do some complex things. The students compete for more than $12 million in scholarships, but whether or not they win, the teams learn many lessons, some more obvious than others. Again, Don Maderos. I feel like I'm learning a lot about technology in general, like uh, what wires go to what, um, how you can uh, get two different things to, like, uh, two di like a, com a computer and um, another computer to work together, like communicate. And I learned how to build a robot. And teacher Ira Idol, the team sponsor. It's not just like building the robot and just, you know, play the game. It's more like a business uh, which you run a kind of a financial side, you run the public relations, PR, you also deal with, uh, you know, the technical, you know, programming and, you know, the mechanics and everything. So the students from, uh, you know, different interests are kind of involved with this program. The teams had to raise money to meet a $20,000 budget for the program, which includes $5,000 each for robot parts and for travel expenses. Despite all the technical and financial challenges, ninth grader Alex Vogadez says the hardest part of the process is... Getting along with all the teammates, because you all have different ideas, you all want to do different things, but you got to compromise and do the best thing that can be done. Madero said there was a lot of debate regarding what the robot would look like, and the team got a couple weeks behind schedule. Most of it was, do we want to go big? Do we want to go small? Um, do we want to see how uh, complicated we can make it, or do we want to stay simple? And so in the end, we just decided to go simple and big. So that way we had room for everything. And once it was all put together, the robot had to be tested, and team members had to practice driving it all before it had to be packed up and shipped to Las Vegas. Some people may have uh, feelings for how it drives, some people may not, and if we have a person driving who's not really capable of driving, it's going to be a disaster. However the competition turns out, Madero says the experience has taught her a lot about time management and focus, skills she hopes to someday put to work as a forensic pathologist. That's going to help a lot. Because a lot of what it's been has been time management, making sure things get done on time and focusing, not dr uh, drifting off into space when I'm supposed to be reading articles or something like that. That's been something that's really helped and I've learned a lot about. For more information on the FIRST Robotics Competition and Coral Academy of Science, visit KNPB.org and click on KNPB Reports. Reporting for KNPB, I'm Michael Haggerty.